Hi guys, my name is Monica and I hope you're doing well. And I know probably you might be seated somewhere as you're watching me, you're watching this video, as you're watching me and probably you are wondering why do I keep on talking about importation from Monday to Monday. <laughs> I don't know why I do this. Why do I keep on talking about importation from Monday to Monday? Why not talk about something else? Probably this is one of the easiest topic to me because I can talk about it without even having to, you know, to research or yeah, that is what I feel. Maybe it's the best topic that I can talk more about. And guys, I'm here to encourage you. Are you are you a mini importer? Are you already importing? Are you intending to start your importation journey? I'm here to assist you through um, whatever challenges that you may be facing because I know importation journey in itself, it isn't easy. It's kind of tough and especially for beginners. And then is it possible? Yes, it is possible because I do it all the time. I know so many people do the same because when I have a look at my country, uh, for example, Kenya, um, we highly depend on importation. And the other question comes, why why should we keep on importing? <laughs> I don't know because I think some of these things are out of our control because if the government can't do much on local manufacturing and production, then what do we do? You are in the business world. You want to maintain that the com you want to maintain the competitive advantage. What else do you do? You are forced to import, right? Yeah, and so not that I'm encouraging much about much about importation, but I'm here to get that that one person who is out there, who is ready to do the importation, who is ready to take their business to the next level. Yeah. And by the way, guys, if you are doing local manufacturing, I would I would like and I would um like to get into your company and see what you do so if you know someone or you're already doing this local manufacturing in kenya please let me know in the comment section or you can also contact me on i'll leave my details on the description box right so the other thing by the way i talked about is it possible to import yes it is possible and i know in the previous video i gave about some details where can you start your importation journey where are these places that you can start um sourcing your products and one of these places that i did highlight was pindodo pindodo whatever it is yeah pindodo and um this is a platform that is it's it's like an e-commerce platform which is actually based in china and i think mostly it is meant for the local people in china to buy from that platform but i think if you are you are considering on importing from china and bringing bringing the product to your own country then this is a platform that you can consider however i know where the the greatest challenge lies and actually honestly hmm? It isn't a challenge. It's all about the attitude or the perception that you see it as, you know. And that's why I say this is where I come in. This is where I make things easier because I know it's in Chinese. Also, oh, Monica, why? What are you trying to tell us? What are you trying to tell us? Yeah, this is the thing. It is not a must for you to understand or read the Chinese language for you to buy from this platform. You know, that's why I said I'm here to make your things easier. And there's always a way that you can translate this platform. And maybe you might be thinking that I'm saying this out of your fury. <laughs> out of fury and my own research, but this is not the case. And if you guys, you do not know. Some years ago, I lived in China. And when I got to China, this is what I would tell you. I didn't know to... to I didn't know anything about the Chinese language, whether saying hello, ni hao, I didn't know a thing. But it doesn't mean that I never used to buy my products online. I used to buy a lot from Pindodo and Taobao. And not, not because that I didn't, I did understand the language. There is always like a, a shortcut. All you need to know is no, this is how I search for the product. You can see the search button. Um, this is how I check on the reviews of the clients. Uh, check the reviews how, how 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 monica do you check the reviews and you know you are a kambudong <laughs> they say this in chinese like you you can't read how 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 then guys this is how i'm going to show you i'm going to show you how you are able to translate this app and be able to understand because you only need to understand few perspective this is where you search for the item this is how you get the reviews this is where you get to see the specification of the product and this is how you buy and this is how you pay right it's as simple as that because you know every time that you are considering buying 
a product online it's always wise and actually very wise to check on the reviews because honestly the reviews talks a lot about their product and this is where you, you start like kind of gaining some trust but if at all you do not um you do not check the reviews of a product then it becomes difficult and i'm pretty sure in your own country you've got your online um shops and uh sometimes you can buy a very nice pro product and other times the kind of product that you get it's actually very horrible like you even don't know how to rate it maybe it's a zero so guys i think without any further ado let me get you into my phone and let me show you how you you can translate this app to make sure that you understand everything on this app and make your buying or your shopping successful so the first thing is opening our pinduru app and uh there it is it is um opening though it's quite slow and then after we open it uh we are going to try and look uh for a product that maybe we can try and buy so that i can show you how you are supposed to translate uh he's bringing me some beauty product um I think I'm not okay with this one. Uh, let's try to look for something, something else. Because I'm trying to look for a product that have several uh, specifications, so that you can see it is so easy for you to understand what are the specific requirements. I think we can go for a hood, a hood. Yeah, let me choose this one. I think it's a nice one. Yeah, this one is okay. It's that two you wanna. Let's open it up. And there it is and you guys you can see it has three different colors we have the white one the blue and the black one and it's at 32 u1 yeah so um, let's open it up and as you guys you can see you can see we have the three colors then we also have it's at 32 u1.7 um then also you can see they have the different sizes we have the m for the medium l xl 2xl etc those are the details but assuming this one or the description of course you would need like uh to understand what are these specifications so first i'm going to take a screenshot of this page then go immediately on my wechat there it is i open it up then um once we open it you can see we have the search button and the plus button so we are going to click on the search but the plus button then uh, click on scan then we go to translate not scan then i'm going to select an image you can see that option for the for the image so it is going to take me to to my gallery where i'm going to se select um an image which is supposed to be translated and there it is see it is scanning through and let's see what we are going to get mm, there it is i hope you can now see these uh, details clearly i've tried to to zoom it out uh, you can see we have the m collection store priority delivery the colors that are there indicated white blue and black like once you translate it, it becomes very clear and you are able to understand what is written on um what are the specifications um of this product and so it becomes so easy for you to buy uh, so let's try to go back to the pindudo app again and see um by the way i said guys it's good for you to check on the reviews so trying to think where are the reviews so let's try to check on the 353 and see what is this all about because i'm trying to think these are the reviews because because you can see some pictures there are your pictures so we can also translate this on again we are going to take a screenshot and after we take this screenshot we are going to use the same same procedure we are going to go back to our wechat so it's the same same procedure we chat then we select the image from our gallery and let's see what does this page what is it talking about yeah so guys do you see this so from here you are able to see the different reviews for example we have tutu who says uh 
no chromatic aberration fabric is very good very in line with expectation 10 billion subsidies worth trust or then you can also see that those who have indicated it's good quality we have 908 comfortable touch 979 and so on so that part was specifically for the reviews and this is where people keep uh, put their reviews and comments about the product so it means this whatever part that you need some translation this is the same same method that you are going to use to make things easier for yourself so you can try going through the pindudo app and whatever fear that you feel that you need some translation or some understanding try the same same procedure so that when it comes to buying things gonna be so easy for you i hope you guys you have been able to understand the entire process how you translate and uh, if you guys you've got any question on this please leave it on the comment section don't forget to like the video share and subscribe because this is the only way by the way it's the only way that you're gonna support me and when that ad comes woo, don't skip it don't skip it just yeah don't skip it because this is how you support me bye bye guys Zai Jian.